station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. The next record-breaking NASA astronaut is ready for launch. NASA's Jeff Williams is set to blast off Friday evening from Baikonur, along with cosmonauts Oleg Skripochka and Alexei Ovchinin. This will be Williams' third long-duration stay on board the space station, a NASA record. And by the time he comes home in September, he'll become the all-time record holder for time in space among U.S. astronauts, breaking the record recently set by one-year crew member Scott Kelly. Go see the latest times and watch the action live at www.nasa.gov ntv. This week, Commander Koper spent hours fixing up one of the most important pieces of technology that will be vital on a trip to Mars. That's right, the station's toilet. Also known as the waste and hygiene compartment, this key piece of hardware requires the astronauts to become space plumbers every now and then. And as important as it is for the day-to-day -day health of the crew, it's also a vital cog in the station's water recycling system, which these days recovers almost 90% of all water on the U.S. segment. Closed-loop systems to reuse water and breathing air are a necessity for future deep space missions, and they're being perfected right now on the station. This week, Randy Cruz asked us how long it takes before returning astronauts can walk on their own. Well, it differs from person to person, but it's quicker than you might think. Most crew members are able to walk on their own within hours or even minutes upon landing. The biggest adjustment is typically reorienting their vestibular system, which provides our brains the signals for gravity and motion. Recently returned crew member Scott Kelly was up and walking within minutes on his return to Earth, but it's very common to see support staff keeping close just in case. Keep sending us your questions using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.